welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We, in the last one, I think it was, we pretty much killed off everyone in, um, in Little Vegas. And now we're going to go talk to Sheriff Daisy. I don't think we did that. It's been a little while since I played. So let's talk to Daisy. Here they are. Back from one hell of a shootout at the Little Vegas. Round of applause for the Rangers, Marshals. Okay. I hear you keep them Brigo and Ranger Lockup, and I won't say I ain't disappointed. I wanted him here, but at least that shitty nightclub is shut down. Now folks will know what'll happen if they lay hands on a Marshal. Okay. Your lockkeeper's after my own heart. Around here, we always remember who our friends are. Alright, we got a bit of money for that. And we completed the mission. Before I forget, hand me that letter from Brago. I'll need it for evidence. I'm sure. Thank you kindly. Now, I said I'd owe you a favor if you took care of this for me, and I meant it. Thing is, Delgada owes you too, big time. So I'm sending him over to your base to manage your armory. He'll take good care of you. Outstanding. Thanks again, Rangers. You ever need my help, you know where to rustle me up. Fantastic. All right, so we have someone for the armory. Now, uh, did someone level up? Yeah, we have three level ups. Nice. And we need to get healed up. I also want to go check out um, our lockup to see what it looks like now that we have people in there. So let's first level up and then uh, take a look. So uh, toaster repair plus one. Let's take that off for a second. Hmm. I'm thinking I want his luck up, actually. He has four, eight intelligence. Let's take a look at skills first. Four skill points. Well, that'll cost two. If we stick that back on. That'll cost three. So... Let's keep that off for now. We could go all out Animal Whisperer to get that up to four. Or just get it up to three and get another in Toaster Repair. No. Oh. You need sneaky shit. Alright, let's start with Marshal Quan. Uh, he doesn't have a thing on, so... Marshall, you get sneaky shit three. Or sneaky shit... Uh, six, I should say. And then you get... Hmm... Nation awareness speed... Thinking more speed is actually nice. Yeah. Alright, so that's him. Oh, we have four level ups. Nice. Then I am going to put this into luck. For you. Because... That probably... also affects what we find in the toasters, right? So let's get that lock up. And then we'll do... Toaster Repair and Animal Whisper. Then you have a perk. Now, putting a toaster back together is like putting a piece of the pre-war world back together. 
Ring Rogue Trojans now yields bonus loot. We already selected that. Breakfast Bandit. We never let a morning meal get go to waste. Ficken Broken Toasters now yield toast. <sighs> I'm not really sure what toast does. Oh, we didn't select that already? Yeah, we did. Overcharge. Anyone can try to send more juice through their energy weapon. Charge your weapon, empowering it to deal bonus energy cold or fire damage on its next attack. Your weapon has a 5% chance of blowing up in your face. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Animal companions gain bonus con and damage. Okay. Strike meter charges faster. Trick shot fire handgun attack has a minus 50% hit chance. But if it hits, you gain an instance 3 AP, and your strike meter is instantly filled. It's plus 100% damage versus marked targets. Okay. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Hmm. We don't really know what Animal Whisper does, so... Well, we know that we'll get animals, but do they need a lot more con? They do, do extra damage as well. You know what, let's take that and go get ourselves a dog or something. Alright. Uh, you... You only get three attribute points. I'm guessing that's because your intelligence isn't high enough. Let's get your intelligence up some more. And then... Hmm. New perk available. Draw. In the firefight, every second matters. Hit them before they know what happened. Okay. I'm actually thinking of getting my barter skill up. Yeah, let's get barter up. We'll be focusing on barter, weapon modding, and small arms with, with her. Oh wait, we had uh, you as well. Oh, and you need your thing back so that you get toaster repair up to six. You... Uh, you... Very high mechanics. I think big guns would probably be good and nerd stuff. We definitely need nerd stuff. Uh, are you wearing any uh, back? Uh, let's undo these changes. Do you have any hard ass plus one? Okay, so that doesn't matter in this case. Let's do that. Yeah. And you need awareness, coordination, strength. 
the awareness is kind of sucky. Let's get the awareness up. Perks. So what do we have? Move up. Establish the best. We already have that. And then suppression fire and then terrorizer. Flamethrower attacks and golf targets, reducing the hit chance by 15%. That's actually quite nice. Nerd stuff. Robot to hack will now be attacked by other enemies. Hack robots emit an electric burst in return, dealing energy damage to enemies nearby. Mechanics. Mm. Bonus damage to robots. Deplorables gain con and deal 25% more damage. Repairing vehicles and robots also boost the target's max con by 25% for three turns. Okay. Uh, there's a famous two step defense against oncoming fireballs, and no one actually does it. Fire resistance. Disarming landmines has a 33% chance to drop a grenade. Hmm. 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 What to choose? I don't like that this uh, suppressing fire consumes twice as many bullets. Alright, we'll choose no nerd stuff here. Okay. So, Quan, you now have a lot of sneaky shit. So, I think we can go do. the um, Sans Lux Apartments, which would be kind of nice. That would be very, very nice. Right, so if you're enjoying the series, if you're enjoying the videos, uh, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. Let me know that you're enjoying it. And uh, it really helps me out a lot, and I do appreciate it. If you have comments, tips, or tricks, why not leave a comment? Uh, well, comments, tips, or tricks. Tips and tricks are comments. So, uh, But I would appreciate your comments. Uh, I read all my comments, and I reply to most of them. Uh, but no spoilers, please, because it is a blind, blind prey through. I can't speak right now. Here to serve. Um. Guys, over here. Oh, there's Jody Bell. Hey, I'm feeling much better now. Ready to help out any way I can. Okay. We're missing our sonar. We're happy with how things are going so far. So we could take her with us. But then we'd have to drop one of the others, and I don't really want to do that. What happened with how things uh, are going so it's far? It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine, I guess. Not really inspiring anybody, but that's not really our job, is it? Our job is to save the folks back home. And, well, I'm pretty sure we'll get there. We could try harder, though. Okay. Missing Arizona? Oh, man. More every day. This place is nice and all. Kind of majestic with all the mountains and wild weather, but it's hard to enjoy it when I know everybody back home is dying by inches. We mm -hmm. gotta finish up our business with the Patriarch and get the supplies he promised us back home. People are counting on us. My folks are counting on us. Sorry, I just want to get this done and get back to them. Yeah, me too. 
Uh, she, she's not coming along right now. Let's start by going getting healed up because we have some pretty banged up people. Gouged mm -hmm. eye, uh, shell shark, uh, lame leg, and Zeus there is That's almost dead too. Are you planning to take care of all of them or just see how many survive the day? What do you need, Rangers? Need to get patched up. Of course. No sense in bleeding all up. Have a seat. Okay. Uh, never mind. I don't mind not having to clean and suture a festering wound. Okay. So. Let's go check out the lockup here and see if our uh, prisoners are actually in here. I do not like the way you've been treated, but you are directly responsible for letting the Dorseys into the city. I was traffic there. Farron Brago made me do it. And if Baron Brago jumped off a bridge, would you jump off one too? Huh? Never mind. <laughs> Just the Rangers picked you up and not the Marshals. Or else, you know where you'd be. Ah, uh, don't remind me. Okay, so we have our two prisoners in there. I wonder if we can talk to them. Let's try talking to Hope. Rangers. I know I advocated for freeing that fellow we found locked up in here. Kind of having second thoughts now. Just something not right about him. Hope we won't regret it. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, how are the prisoners? Baron Brigo. Vice Bender, dishonorable degenerate, cartel commander, and gregarious gentleman. He's been working that silver tongue but he's been well behaved otherwise. I know it is a bit much to hope that, at his age, he turned from his old habits and become useful to our community, but that's not a good enough reason to execute him. My hope, that holdouts from his organization see how well he's being treated and start thinking about giving up their old ways. I want him to realize they can still have a life without fear of violent retribution. It might be a bit of wishful thinking, but... Okay. Good luck out there. Let's see if we can talk to Fern Brago. You come here to point your fingers and say, that's the bad guy? <laughs> come on, you heathens! Let me heal! <laughs> okay, okay. All right, let's go try and deal with the Sands Lux apartments. I'll uh, I'll travel over there and I'll be right back. Well, we were gonna go to Sandslock's apartments, but this came in. Come in, Team November. Ranger HQ here. A squad of BAMPs rolled up to Ranger, to Ranger HQ. Rough mercenary types. The leader goes by Gary Wolf. Claims to be an ex-ranger. Says he has news for you about your old enemies. Uh, your old enemy. Seems like a cutthroat take no prison type. Over. Bamps? Bad ass motherfuckers. I see. Are they causing any problems? Old enemy. Copy that, Ranger HQ. We'll check it out. Are they causing any problems? That's a negative. Some hurt feelings and broken pottery, maybe. But they appear to be friendlies. Okay. Old enemy? No idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Okay. Copy that, Ranger HQ. We'll, we'll check here. it out. Uh, we will check it out, but first, Sandslock's apartments. Let's get over there. Uh, over here. Right. 
let's get in there and take care of business if we can. So there was that turret in there, and then there were some dudes as well. But the question is if we. Oh, we want to try out Animal Whisper as well. Cat, 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 cat. Oh, cat men do. Let's try that. Did we get a cat? Who's our Animal Whisper? Skills. You are. So where'd Catman do go? Hello? Animal tamed! Okay, what does that do? This kitty's got claws. Critical chance plus 6%. Nice. Okay. Right, so there's this place. There's also there was a somewhere over here, yeah. Let's check this out. Pair five. Or mechanic five. Let's open that. See what's in here. A robot chicken. While sickly and starved looking, the chicken is also unexpectedly spry. For some reason, half of its head is shelled in metal, and cybernetic parts are implant implanted in its body. Hey, come with us if you want to live. Clock. Hey, come with us. It hops di diagon diagonally away from you, feathers fluffed and eyes wide with shock. But it's not not take long before the chicken decides you're worthy of cooperation and begins following your lead. Okay. So, do we have a robot chicken now? Uh, okay. But we had the we had the cyborg or chicken over at the base as well. So maybe and that looked lonely. So maybe. Try and give that some company. Let's do a quick save here and try checking out what's in these crates. An ice axe and some merc armor. Rat tech armor. Armor plus six. Okay. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Well, let's see. You definitely have the strength for that. Armor plus five. So you can take the rad tech armor. And then... You can take that armor. Is anyone without a hat? No. You need to keep that. That gives you mechanics. That's the same as you have now. We're not taking that away. That is just too good. Uh, that's too good. You keep that. That's the same. Armor plus four. This is armor plus three, but gives you plus two percent. You you keep that, and you already have one of those. Okay. Now let's see mods. We have a lot of mods. Let's let's check that out. Uh, modify weapon. 
or modify armor. All right, you get in there. Let's just get it all in there. Uh, you. All right, let's check out leg armor. We have, we can't do that. Uh, does your armor have stuff in it already? No. Let's stick that in there. And then it's weapons. You already have a barrel. And your weapon we can't do anything with because requires 10 weapon modding. We already have a barrel. We already have a barrel. You don't have a barrel. Okay. Do we have any new weapons that we want to use instead of what we're using now? Auto shotgun. Who had the shotgun? You did 18 to 25, 16 to 24, so no. And we have the sniper rifles, which we can't do. This requires big guns 5. Uh, requires big guns 4. So your big guns... Uh, who are big guns five? So we could use the heavy lance, but that takes energy cells, and we don't have that many energy cells, so let's not do that. Then we have some melee weapons. We have 33 to 41, and 27 to 37. So what we have is already best. We have some laser weapons here. We, we, we need to take care of our energy cells. We only have 20. Alrighty. Alright, so we have a clock clock and a meow. Alright, but... We're going to head in here to the Sandslocks apartments uh, in the next one, guys, because we're almost out of time. And I don't want to start what is probably a fight uh, this close to the end, because it'll take a while to fight it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.